Welcome friends, in this video, let's discuss about conservation of biological diversity and different modes of conservation of biological diversity that is in situ conservation and ex situ conservation and organizations which are important in the conservation of biological diversity in India that is Botanical Survey of India and Zoological Survey of India. First, conservation of biological diversity. The, wo the word conservation means the act of preserving, guarding or protecting. Here, the conservation of biological diversity means the act of preserving or guarding and protecting the biodiversity for the future use of human beings, man mankind as a whole. Okay? There are two important modes of conservation of biological diversity. These are ex situ conservation and in situ conservation. Here in the ex situ conservation, the biodiversity is conserved outside their natural habitat. Outside their natural habitat. Okay? And various examples for ex situ conservation include zoological garden, botanical garden, seed bank, and gem blossom bank. Here in the botanical garden, this is an example for ex situ conservation. Here various species of plants like uh, trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers and various species of plants are planted in a specified area for the conservation purposes and, and also for educational purposes. This is the botanical garden. So here it is planted outside the natural habitat, outside the forest in a, in, in, in a different area setting so this is ex situ conservation and similarly in the animals also we we do ex situ conservation in the form of zoological garden here different species of animals are held captively for the uh, for the public purposes and also for entertainment purposes and also for the conservation of these animal species uh, in a different setting outside their natural habitat this is the example of zoological garden and then seed bank here the seeds of various plants species are uh, collected and stored safely in a repository for the future use uh, either for breeding program or for uh, reproduction and also for multiplication of the those plant species so this is the seed bank and gem blossom bank here various plants can be propagated vegetatively for example by use of cuttings uh, layering and other other means and also the micro propagation propagules are also stored in the gem blossom banks with the use of cryogenic techniques and also in the animal species uh, uh, where sperms and other uh, ovules are also stored for the future use and other breeding program program of the animals so this is the germ plasm conservation that is ex situ conservation so as i mentioned earlier botanical garden is one of the ex situ conservation and zoological garden is also one of the ex situ conservation and next is in situ conservation here the conservation uh, is made within the natural habitat of the plants and animal species so the conservation is made in their natural habitat itself is, is the in situ conservation we can divide the in situ conservation into two different uh, components one is conservation areas and protected areas in the conservation areas these are the areas of notable environmental or historical interest okay these are the areas with notable environmental interest because of their uh, uh, biodiversity or because of their use for the human beings or other purposes uh, or importance which is protected by law against the undesirable changes this these areas are protected by the law uh, against the undesirable changes like interference by the human beings uh, and other encroachment offenses so the conservation conservation areas are tiger reserves elephant reserves ramsar wetland areas for the conservation of wetlands and natural unesco world heritage sites okay natural unesco world heritage sites there are different world heritage sites in india also and marine biodiversity areas these are the counterparts of the uh, national parks okay and coastal biodiversity areas so these are the conservation areas and the protected areas these have more stricter norms when compared to the conservation areas these are the areas those in which human human occupation are limited okay at least exploitation of resources is also is also limited in these protected areas these include various categories for example national parks wildlife sanctuaries uh, community reserves conservation reserves and marine protected areas these are uh, these are regulated by uh, legislation by the parliament so these are the protected areas uh, at present we have uh, the 4.88 percent of the uh, indian geographical area is uh, covered by the protected areas okay 
and among these national parks there are 103 national parks and which accounts for 1.23 percent of the uh, india's area and wildlife sanctuary there are 530 wildlife sanctuaries spreading across uh, all the states and this is 3.58 uh, uh, percent of the uh, Indian area and conservation reserves accounts for 0.07 percent and community reserves are only four and there are seven not two protected areas in India totally uh, let's look at the botanical survey of India this botanical survey of India is the apex organization under the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change Government of India and it performs various functions in the conservation of biological diversity in the area of plant species okay and these functions include it carry out taxonomic taxonomic means classification of the plants on a scientific basis okay taxonomic and floristic studies on wild plant resources through survey surveying the forest areas documentation of the taxon uh, different plant species and conservation of the species okay this this is the important function of the botanical survey of india and this also maintains the inventory it, it also maintains the list of rare endemic and threatened plant species and it also evolves the conservation of conservation strategies for conserving these endangered and threatened plant species that are present in india and it also studies the fragile ecosystems and protected areas like wildlife sanctuaries national parks and biosphere reserves and also uh, prepares the conservation strategies for the same and multiplication and maintenance of endemic and threatened species okay uh, through various propagation techniques like uh, uh, like micro propagation, vegetative propagation, sexual propagation, uh, for example, uh, maintaining uh, botanical gardens in various corners of the country and orchid area. This is some of the other important things. And documentation of traditional knowledge of plants, okay, various plants are used for healing uh, different diseases. So these are documented by the Botanical Survey of India and development of plant and document and development of national database of herbarium herbarium is the uh, collection of uh, the plants in a dried sample okay so this is these are the functions of the botanical survey of india and the activities undertaken by the botanical survey of india so far includes it has um, it has discovered one new family the whole family and 32 new general genera and 925 new species, subspecies and varieties that have been discovered as new to science. These are new to science. These have not been known before. So this is the achievement of uh, Botanical Survey of India. They have found one new species to the science, 32 new genera, 925 new species. And also it undertake environment impact, impact assessment studies and impact of over 100 development projects, development projects like uh, uh, dams, various industrial projects, mining activities and flora. Okay, this is completed by the Botanical Survey of India. Next is Zoological Survey of India. It is also one of the premier institute under the Ministry of Environment and Forest and this is counterpart of the Botanical Survey of India and it undertakes the survey, uh, survey documentation taxonomic studies of the animal species. It was established in 1916 itself before independence. Okay, it also undertakes environment impact assessment related to the fauna. Okay, and survey of conservation areas are also conservation areas are also made and status survey of endangered species are also carried out by the zoological survey of india and information system environment information system on the diversity of the animal species are also undertaken uh, to provide proper information for policy formulation and conservation strategies to various organizations and it is supporting the inform enforcement of wildlife protection act 1972 so these are the important functions of the zoological survey of india next let's look at the achievements the scientists of Zoological Survey of India discovered 4,806 new animal species, okay, uh, more than 3,000 as new records. So these have not been uh, listed uh, in any of the documents. These are new to science. So this is the achievement of Zoological Survey of India. They have also published huge uh, collection of books related to the animal conservation, uh, conservation of fauna. That is, up to 1,448 books are published. Uh, by the Zoological Survey of India. So this is it about the conservation, uh, biological conservation, in situ and ex situ conservation. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Please friends, this is important. Uh, please subscribe uh, through your email and link is provided in the description box below uh, so that we can make a group and share our resources uh, with each other uh, for 
for better studies so thank you thanks for watching link is in the description below please uh, send in with your email address there thank you very much